Good morning. It's 7.08 on day 35. I'm waking up at um, some campsite near water. It's 50 degrees. So we're going to go to Indian Grave Cap. So I'll wake up. Hey, puppy. Hey, puppy. Oh, goodness. Okay, okay. All right, morning, folks. 10 till 9. And just kind of breaking camp, getting ready to get back on trail. I think we got 14 miles or so to get to Indian Grave Gap. Um, up and over a mountain to start the day, which is nice. Um, CeeLo just picked up and totally destroyed my sunglasses. So, so that's pretty fun. Um, I guess it's a good thing it's cloudy today. So I have no glasses anymore and I'm not really sure how to replace them. But uh, we'll cross that bridge, I guess, some other time. A good dog, but a puppy. So that's that. It is 9.30, and I think I'm going to go ahead and take care of my weekly health update here on day 35, a little earlier than usual today. I usually kind of clip the GoPro onto my backpack and kind of walk along with you as I give the health update, but as I mentioned yesterday, and as you may be able to tell by the sky and the wind, it is going to open up like any minute. Um, so I won't be able to record anything with audio really once it starts raining. So I'll probably go ahead and keep this tradition rolling. Um, so um, I think I've mentioned in a few other videos, the ACE bandage and ibuprofen has helped the shin considerably. Um, really much more than I would have expected to be honest, but um, still stretching a lot less frequently than, than I was a week ago. But um, Still trying to stretch. Still taking the 400 milligrams of ibuprofen in the morning. Actually, we'll come back to that. And uh, definitely wrapping it up with an ace bandage every day. Um, still wearing my knee brace as well, um, which has helped. I think my body's finally kind of catching up here in this past week or so with what it is that what it is that I'm expecting of it. So um, definitely starting to feel a lot better physically which is good. I mean, I wasn't ever feeling terrible except for that shin thing, but feeling a lot better. Um, blisters on my hands are, you know, still taped up for the trekking pole straps, but um, it's not really bothering me, honestly. I just haven't taken the tape off, so blisters on feet, pretty much non-existent. Still have a couple nails looking a little rough, but they're holding on. Um, biggest news of the week, far and away, as it pertains to health stuff, as you saw in my video a couple days ago, I was sitting around at the Walmart and heard the call come up. Any shoppers interested in getting the COVID vaccine come down to the pharmacy, so pretty well ran <laughs> and got my uh, first shot of the Moderna vaccine. So I'm supposed to get a booster dose after 28 days. Um, and the folks at the pharmacy are like, oh yeah, if you're on the trail, just go ahead and stop into any pharmacy along the way, whatever, 28 days, you'll be fine. To which I replied, forget all that noise. Let me book, a, book an appointment with you so I have something to, you know, some, some kind of guarantee. And then, uh, so we did that, we booked an appointment. And um, the plan is as we get closer to that 28 days, depending where I am, I'll definitely try and reach out to some nearer Walmarts and see if someone up trail can take care of me for that second dose. Um, but if not, just rent a car and come on back. Come back to Oregon, Tennessee for the second dose. So, um, yeah, huge relief, huge relief. I did feel like a little sore in the arm, mostly yesterday, but honestly, it was almost one of those aches, but like it was something you could just wake up with any given day and not really worry about it too much. I mean, obviously people have had different different uh, side effects, but for me it was totally mild. Uh, the biggest side effect, which I kind of referenced earlier, is that apparently, at least with the Moderna vaccine, I'm not sure about Pfizer or Johnson & Johnson, you're not supposed to take any ibuprofen for like two, three, four days, so 
So my regimen has ended for the time being. And hopefully in another couple days I can... Well, I mean, hopefully I don't need any more adropofen, but if I need, if I need some, I have two days before I can take some. So um, that's fine. Man. I wonder if you can... You can hear that tree. Yeah, anyways, so today they're expecting sustained winds, tonight especially, sustained winds of 35 miles an hour gusts up to and potentially above 60 miles an hour with a fair amount of rain as well. So, um, yeah, probably not too much audio today, but we'll see how we go. Anyways, I think that's the weekly health update. Everything else is great. Head good, stomach good, eyes good, except for CeeLo destroying my sunglasses, which is a pretty huge bummer because I'm not sure how to replace those on trail. I checked the nearest Oakley store is like 80 miles from here and I never know when I'm going to be where, so I'll figure something out. Um, but yeah, health, health is all good. So, in terms of that, and that alone, I'm doing good. And that's, that's a good feeling. So, uh, anyways, that's it for the weekly health update. We'll see you all on day 42 for another one. folks it is 5 34 on day 35 and we wound up wrapping up our hike a little earlier um, than we had planned we quit at mile 354.2 um, we did not make it back to Irwin we did not make it to Indian grave gap um, um, Atticus slash Tony uh, wound up calling someone that he knows in town to come pick us up at that point so um, so we got off. It looks like there's going to be probably 60 mile an hour gusts tonight and sustained winds of about 35 miles an hour. Um, but yeah, the rain was coming down, the thunder had started. Um, and so I think uh, we just kind of decided to go ahead and get off trail. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what tomorrow is going to be, uh, to be perfectly honest. Um, I think Tony's going to drop me back at that same spot and I'm going to walk down to Irwin. Um, should be about 10 miles or so um, and ideally I'd love to not stay in Irwin I'd love I'd really love to keep moving down trail um, but that would involve taking a shuttle then from Irwin 
back up to Carver's Gap, which is just uh, kind of like the first parking lot north, trail north of Roan Mountain, um, and then continuing on from there. Um, I am hoping to be at Boots Off Hostel in one day, two day, three day, maybe three and a half days or so, um, and I'd love to get back on track with mileage, but uh, it's definitely been fun to be out with Tony, definitely been fun to be out with CeeLo, um, been some great hikes, so... Um, you know, didn't make it quite as far as um, I think we were hoping we would, but it was good to it was good to have them out. It was good to be out with them. So um, I'm gonna order a new pair of Oakleys to uh, Boots Off Hostel. Hopefully, if I overnight them, they'll be there when I arrive uh, in a few days. Um, but yeah, I don't know how much more I'll record. I think we're just gonna kind of clean up and go out to dinner and then uh, call it. So I will talk to y'all probably tomorrow. Good night.